In this video, we'll demonstrate how easy it is to build a complete template BOM in Manufacturing Pro. To understand how Manufacturing Pro handles BOMs, we first need to understand the different types of BOM files. In Manufacturing Pro, there are two types of BOMs, template BOMs and production BOMs. Understanding the difference between these two is important. Let's start by looking at the template BOMs. Template BOMs are master copies of a particular product or job. Assemblies used in template BOMs are linked together. This means that any modifications made to a template assembly is then instantly applied to the same assembly being used in other template BOMs. This keeps data consistent and saves the user from manually updating individual BOMs. Production BOMs work the opposite way. Assemblies that are modified in a production BOM are changed only for that particular job. This is useful if you have a custom order that needs modifying from an original bill of materials template. For example, a manufacturing business may create several template BOMs based on the standard products that are built and sold. If a customer then requests a modified job, the manufacturing company can drag and drop the required assemblies and parts from the template BOM into a new production BOM. This new production BOM is now independent from the template and can be modified without affecting the original product hierarchy. It's important to note that while assembly modifications are remain for global. each production BOM, part Before modifications beginning, let's first make sure that the BOM Manager module is open. By looking at the top module tabs, we can see that the BOM Manager tab is activated and loaded. We'll start by building a new template BOM of a basic miter saw. To create a new template BOM, first select the BOM Explorer sub-tab on the left-hand side. The BOM Explorer is where individual BOM files, both template and production, are created, opened, and saved. We'll start by expanding the template BOM folder and double-clicking the new template cell. The Create Edit BOM dialog now appears. This is where we'll enter the bill of materials number and description. We can also enter additional information such as the machine reference, customer code, customer PO number, customer name, and required shipping date. Businesses using Sage's Business Vision for their accounting will be able to automatically look up their customer information by clicking the BV Lookup button. Click Accept to close the window. Our miter saw template BOM is now loaded in the main file window. Currently, the BOM screen is empty as we haven't added any parts or assemblies yet. From here, we can quickly import a previously made Excel BOM document. This document has already been formatted into a layout that Manufacturing Pro can recognize. To bring the parts into Manufacturing Pro, simply select the cells, right-click, and select Copy. We'll now switch back to Manufacturing Pro and select the Excel Import sub-tab. The parts that we copied from Excel are now sitting in the window. To add this to our new template BOM, simply select the parts and drag them over. Our template BOM is now complete. Before we can begin editing the order of the newly imported assemblies, we first need to save. Now that our template BOM is saved, let's reopen it and make some slight modifications. Some of these assemblies actually belong as a sub-assembly. To rearrange the hierarchy of the BOM, we simply select the assemblies or parts we want to move and drag them to their new location. Create a production BOM from our newly created template BOM. In our next video, we'll demonstrate BOM. how to